Hey there, welcome once again to your transformational coaching journey hosted by United Soccer Coaches. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the P word in your program. That P word could be politics. As an assistant athletic director for 15 years, I dealt with a lot of politics in the program complaints for many of our programs. Basketball was a big one. And people said, oh man, I didn't make the team because of politics or because my parents did this or that and it's politics. And that's one of the things I want to make sure that nobody would ever say about my program. So how do you keep the P word from coming into a discussion about your program? And it's really pretty simple because it comes down to communication and transparency. If you communicate with your parents and your players and you do it effectively, then there is, there is no politics that'll come into play. Because a lot of times it was, well, we didn't know about this extra practice, or we didn't know about this summer program, or we didn't know about uh, that the coach wanted the players to do this particular thing, because there was a lack of communication. If you just tell the players, a lot of times that message doesn't get back to their parents. If you send a note home, in the old days, we always used to send a, a, a flyer home, a note with all kinds of information on it. And then, you know, you, you give something out at the beginning of the season and you find it in the bag at the end of the season when you collect it. So many messages never made it home. So now we have Team Snap where we send messages out. We have a Facebook page where we send messages out. There's all kinds of information. If parents don't see that information, then it, now it's on them because they get constantly reminded of how we communicate. And again, it comes down to communication. There was, when I have a parent group and they wanna do something extra for the team, I always accept any kind of help we can get, any kind of donation, any kind of time thing, any kind of opportunity that a parent can help provide for our program. But the message is always clear that whatever you do as a parent, that's wonderful and we're thankful for it. And we show a lot of gratitude, but your child is the one that has to perform and make the team. Your child is the one that's gonna get playing time or starting position or make the team they want because of their efforts, not yours. While we appreciate yours, it's not gonna help them at all. So that message needs to be conveyed to your parents. So my, my takeaway here for you is, you cannot over communicate. Make sure your parents and your players know what your best form of communication is. If you have a Facebook page and you put everything on there, make sure they're following it. If you email, make sure they're getting the emails and constantly remind them. Because the more transparent you are, the more they come to know that this is what you do and this is how you do it. There are no politics in place anymore. It all comes down to the player and their performance. So good luck with your program. Again, communicate, communicate, communicate. Until next month, keep on kicking.